to our study, the Bible, that we're going to pick up a series in the next few weeks about the Greek. Whoa. Some people out there didn't think the Stalin knew the Greek. I know the Greek. When I went to grace, when I went to grammar school, there was a little Greek girl I had I had a crush on, and her family owned a pizzeria, so I know a little Greek. Oh, 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 oh you mean the language? Yeah, I know something. So we're gonna look at the next few weeks Greeks, and from Alexander the Great. The foundation, Alexander the Great. You know, already it's about God Almighty. You do know the history of Alexander the Great. Approximately the 4th century B.C. B.C. The Greeks dominated the known world. He accomplished the Greek culture and the Greek language. Conquering the people demanded they speak his language. So, I mean, he wouldn't go into a lot of the modern thinking today, you know. At the same time the New Testament came, most of the known biblical world was one language, Greek. The culture just comes to be Hellenistic, which means Greek culture. culture. So we're going to look at, we've already studied this. We already studied. We already studied the, uh, the Kittle's Greek Dictionary. And we did that study of the Greek and the anti-Semitism. But we're in the Greek. We're going to follow with the Greek. We're going to complete with the Greek. Kittle's Greek Dictionary, or Dictionary of the Greek New Testament. Most likely the choice of some scholars, teachers, preachers, and pastors. Gerd, G-E-R-H-A-R-D, Kittle, 1888 to 1948. Theologian, lexicographer, and biblical languages. Supporter of the Nazis. And he was an open anti-Semitic. Let me quote for you Genesis 12, 3. I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Let me tell you right now about Kittle. If you stand for Gerhard Kittle or his Kittle's Greek Dictionary, walk up to me or kindly leave me a comment. Say, Brother Stiley, I am all for the Kittle. I think Kittle is a good man. I think his work was a good work. So I can befriend you. So I will have nothing to do with you no more. I don't want to have any friends with anybody associated with anti-Semitism. I don't want to have any friendship with anybody who goes with for the Nazi party of exterminating Jews. So kindly... Give me a comment, comment, unfriend me. But if you think Kindle and his work, you're going to be cursed. Because the man, well, we'll read on. It's a household name, Gerhard Kindle of the New Testament Greek scholars. So we're looking at the Greek scholarship of a cursed people because they're trying to curse and eliminate and exterminate God's people, the Jews. The NIV translators used his work in modern Bibles. So don't bring me NIV garbage with the work of anti-Semitism. The Greek, said by the educator, the pastor, almost certainly referenced itself to the Kittle's Dictionary or a sim similar work. So in the Greek, as we study in the Greek, is it possible in the Greek? It could be one of their sources could be Kittle. Anti-Semitic. One of the most widely used and widely respected theological dictionaries ever created. 
TDNT. Uh, Tittle's uh, Dictionary of the New Testament. It's dispersible for studies in the Greek New Testament and theology. He means anti-Semitism. The historical development and theological of each word is exhaustively explored. The author traces usage of classical Greek literature, the Old Testament, LXX, stay away, and with uh, warning for words that end with X. The LXX says that Potiphar was a eunuch, but he had a wife. <coughs> That's LXX 70. Extra biblical texts. New Testament passages, logos, copyright 2020, faith play. That's the anti synonymic work of Cato. One CBD Christian book catalog describes Cato's work, the anti Semitism man, as the best New Testament dictionary ever completed. Every serious Greek student dreams of owning a set written by the anti-Semite Nazi Kittle. The Biblia Hebrea, BHK, 1937, and is Rudolf Kittle, his father, the New King James Version. His father wrote the Biblia Hebrea, BHK, and that would be the root of the New King James Bible. Nonsense. Kittle wrote anti-Semitism works that was used by the Nazi party and used to bring the German people to hate the Jews. So if you want to associate, if you want to associate yourself with anything with Kittle and his work, let me know because I want to disassociate myself with you. And if you go west, I'm going to go east. And if you say number 10, I'm going to say zero. And if you say A, I'm going to say Z. Okay? I don't want to be associated with anybody that hates the Jews. And try to exterminate the Jews. I am against the KKK because they hate Jews. I love the Jews, I pray for missionaries to the Jews, and I want to be a blessing to the Jews so God can bless me. Okay? So if you have, if you are a friend of mine and I don't know that you're under Kindle's work, please let me know and I will, I will end our friendship right then and there. Okay? Please. I don't want to be associated with you and I don't want to be associated with Kindle. Plain and simple. If you're, if you're teaching and you're preaching and your work comes from Kittle, please let me know so I can't listen to you no more. Okay? When a preacher, pastor, teacher, educator, scholar says in the Greek, again, it could be an anti-synemic anti author, Kittle. In the Greek could be Kittle's work. Again, let me read to you Genesis 12, 3. I will bless them that bless thee and curse them that curse thee. And all such a famous earth shall be blessed. So be careful when your perk gets up and we're going to learn the Bible. Now this word in the Greek, I'll put warning flags. By the way, the Greek, we don't have the Greek. The Greek is gone. When they say the Greek, they're originating to the originals. And say, hey, in the Greek, can you show me next week at this at the Bible study? Can you show me next week in the preaching? The Greek. They can't show you the Greek. They can't show you the originals. They're gone. Adios, amigos. And if they say, well, and, and I'm also a kittle, you need to right then pick up your stuff, move yourself, and find another place.
find another person. In the works of Satanism in the assembly or groups, the Nazi party. This man, Kittel, was a writer and a supporter, not only the Nazis, not only was he a Nazi, but he was a writer and supporter of hate literature and the extermination of the Hebrews, the Jews, God's people. Kittel, to obey Adolf Hitler was the obedience to the law of God. Do you know Henry Ford had a great fascination for Kittel? I mean, excuse me, take that back. Henry Ford had a, a great uh, admirer of Adolf Hitler. You know, it has been shown just recently that the family of uh, Krispy Kreme Donuts had association with the Nazi party. I won't get Krispy Kreme Donuts no more. I won't buy a Ford. I won't take a Ford. I'm not having anything to do with anti-Semitism. I ain't having nothing to do with the Nazis. You can talk about all the social. Let socialism come. Because socialism is the government of the Antichrist. But don't get me involved with anything with Nazis and anti-Semitism. I'll draw the line there. Kittle, the new Bible perversion of Hitler's church to replace Luther's Bible. By now 400 years old, Luther's Bible was 400 years old. It was said by Kittle that the Luther's Bible was archaic. Oh, you ever heard that one? Luther's Bible was archaic. And it needed to be replaced. Have you heard that before? So for Hitler's church, Kittle says we need a new Bible. The German Luther 400-year-old Bible it was archaic and it needed to be rewritten. And that's the attack on the King James Bible. In 1933, he joined the Nazi party. In the same year, 1933, he began his theological work and in the theological diction in the New Testament, here's the German, T-H-E-O-L-O-G-I-S-C-H-E-S, W-O with two dots, R-T-E-R-B-U-C-H, Z-U-M, N-E-U-E-N, and then Testament, the Theology Dictionary of the New Testament, 1933, the same year that he joined the Nazi party. The year that he became a Nazi is the same year you got the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament. It's a Greek dictionary. Kittle saw God's hand in the, in the elevation of Hitler to power. Hitler's rise to power by Kittel was, that's the very power of God. You mean the God of the Hebrews? The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob? The God that said, those are my people. If you curse them, they curse you. And out of Hitler is the rise of God's power as they are killing Jews, God's people. And you're going to put this in your theology? You're going to put this in your masters? You're going to put this to the Bible? <laughs> and you can quote me on that. An anti-Semitism has no bearing of the fruit and roots and trees of our Bible, and yet here it is. And there's a possibility when you hear a nutcase get up, explaining the Bible in the Greek, he could be quoting from a Nazi, anti-Semitistic, cursed of God, who God's power raised out of Hitler. And out of Hitler has a church where we need to replace Luther's Bible. <laughs> the 
that is as useful as a spoon with a hole in it. Kittle was put on trial for war crimes at Nuremberg. He was arrested. And he went to Nuremberg and stood trial for war crimes. In the Greek. Now, students, will you open your Kittle's dictionary? Students, will you walk out on that class, that church, that man? In the Greek, and goes to Kittle's New Testament that he was a war criminal, testified at Nuremberg. May I quote again, Genesis 12, 3. I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curses thee. And these shall all the families of earth be blessed. I tell you right now, Kittle, as a Jew hater, as a Nazi, anti-Semitism, and probably for sure he's in hell today. And if he believed on the Lord Jesus Christ and got saved, oh. Kittle worked to further the extermination of Jews. We, you go back to the beginning of this entire study. It's called the Greek and anti-Semitism. And it's about Kittle. It's about the Greek text. It's about his work and the Nazi party work. And I will, and it quotes to you the sources and the dates and the time more than what this study right now is doing. But you're going to be too lazy to go get the beginning of this study and study Kittle, because uh, he's your, he may be your author. He may be, oh, he's such a good man. Uh, his book is so great, and it's cursed by God. I'm glad if you leave me, unfriend me, won't have anything to do with me anymore if you're involved with Kittle in this work. I'm glad. Please tell me, say, Stolly, I am dropping you. I don't want to have anything to do with you because I'm part of Kittle. I think Kittle's a good man. I think his work is great. I go buy me a cake. And I will sit down with my daughter and we'll have cake because a Kittle follower has left me. And we'll praise God over cake that... You want to go serve anti-Semitism. You want to go serve the Nazi party with, with the the uh, the Greek with the dictionary, the Greek New Testament. We'll, we'll celebrate that. Please let me know. I'll have anything to do cake, as long as it's not birthday cake. I don't do birthdays, except for my new birth, April twenty fifth, nineteen eighty seven. In night before 1933, Kindle defended Judaism. After 1933, when he joined the Nazi Party and when he began his work in the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, he was against Judaism. Everything after the work of the Theological Dictionary of the New Testament, the Greek Dictionary, is anti-Semitism, Nazi extermination of God's people. After 1933, he was against it. He worked of the hatred and slaughter against the Jews. He wrote books. He wrote propaganda. He used what he could for, for Adolf Hitler. Go back. And Joseph Goebbels worked together to try to get the Germans and the Nazis to hate and blame the Jews. Anti-Jewish Nazi work by Kittle along with Theological Dictionary, the New Testament. I hope by now, I hope, you know what? I got into Kittle's Greek Dictionary. I got into Theological Dictionary, New Testament. I don't want to follow that no more. Sorry, I don't want to have anything to do with that anymore. Get down to your knees, confess your sins, and God's faithful and just to forgive you your sins and cleanse you of your sins, and take Kittle's work and throw it in a fire. Don't sell it. Don't give it to somebody. Don't even put it in the garbage. Because you know the Vaticanus came out of the garbage. Somebody might pick it up. Burn it with the hell fire. Probably where kiddos burning today. Have a, bur have a book burning like they did in the book of Acts. If you want to get right with God, confess your sin and take kiddos work and burn it in the flames of fire. 
The NIV, NIV translated used Kittle's Greek New Testament dictionary. What's the number one reason why not to have the new international version? It is anti-Semitism. It is found upon the Germany, Germany Nazism. Take your NIV, burn it. Don't give it to somebody. Don't put it in the garbage because they may take it out of the garbage like they did Vaticanus. Burn it with the flames of fire. Have a book burning like they did in the book of Acts. The last volume of Kittle's dictionary wasn't finished. It was finished later on. But Kittle did not finish his last volume of his theological dictionary New Testament. Why not? Because he was arrested for war crimes. My last book. I can't do it because I, you have the right to remain silent. In a moment after, the, after, after in the Greek, we will tell you what happened to Mr. Kittle. He couldn't finish. God said you're not finishing it because you cursed my people. And yet you can buy an NIV that uses this crap. Can I use the word crap? Kittle called Hitler the saving force that extended the tide of Jewish infiltration. In 1943, Joseph Goebbels asked Kittle to write the anti-Jewish action. And he wrote little on the knowledge of the Jewish killings. Kittle would admit that he knew the Jews were being were being slaughtered and he knew what he was writing. And still with that, he wrote the theological dictionary in the New Testament. The work of Kittle is cursed. May I quote finally Genesis chapter 12, verse 3. And I will bless them that bless thee and curse him that curses thee. And all thee shall the families of the earth be blessed. Not through the work of Kittle. We'll continue next time with the Greek.